In this video, we're going to have a look at dividing fractions. Now, if you ask yourself the question, how many quarters are in a half? The calculation you're being asked to do is to take a half and divide it by a quarter. Now, to divide a half by a quarter, what you need to do when you're dividing by a fraction is flip the second fraction upside down. So you end up multiplying by the reciprocal. Okay, so you change the calculation to a multiplication and you multiply by the reciprocal. So what you do is you take 1 over 4, flip it upside down, and it's now 4 over 1. And then you just continue with the calculation like you would when you're normally multiplying fractions. So to get your new numerator, you do 1 times 4. To get the new denominator, you do 2 times 1. Tidy that up, and you end up with 4 over 2, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. And that's all there is to it. So that's how you, how you divide by a fraction you multiply by its reciprocal. You flip it upside down and multiply. Okay, so let's have a look at another ex example. Let's take one third divided by a half. So flip a half upside down, change your calculation to a multiplication. So what you're talking of is one third times two over one. Multiply then one times two on the top, three times one on the bottom, and you end up with two thirds. Now you always want to check and see if you can simplify your answer. In this case we can't, but always check to see if you can. Let's this time do two-thirds divided by four-fifths. So what you're doing is two-thirds multiplied by five over four. Two times five on the top, three times four on the bottom. You end up with ten over twelve, which can be simplified. Divide top and bottom by two, you end up with five-sixths. This time you're dividing by 2. Now, one way to divide a fraction by 2 is just to think of 3 quarters, in this case, being divided by 2 over 1, because 2 is just 2 over 1. Then, if you rewrite it and say that it's 3 quarters multiplied by 1 over 2, the reciprocal of 2 over 1, then you can just say 3 times 1 is going to be on the top, 4 times 2 on the bottom, and your final answer is 3 eighths. Now, when you have a calculation involving mixed numbers and you're being asked to divide, what you need to do is convert each of these to a top-heavy fraction or an improper fraction. So if you do that, you end up with 4 over 3 divided by 9 over 4. Remember, all you do to get the new numerator is do 1 times 3, which is 3, add the 1, you get 4. And over here, 2 4s are 8, add the 1, you get 9. So now that you've got 4 thirds divided by 9 over 4, you rewrite that as a multiplication. It's 4 over 3 times 4 over 9. You end up with 16 on the top, 27 on the bottom, and that's you. Okay? Another example, this time 2 and 2 fifths divided by 1 and a third. Change these two top heavy fractions. You then end up with 12 over 5 times 3 over 4. You end up with 36 on the top. 20 on the bottom. Now, you don't want to leave your answer as a top-heavy fraction. So, what you need to do is take what you had, simplify it first of all, dividing top and bottom by 4, and then 9 divided by 5 is 1 remainder 4, so your final answer is, as a mixed number, 1 and 4 fifths. So that's how you divide by a fraction. All you're doing is multiplying by its reciprocal. And remember, any question that involves a whole number, then you can just write that as the whole number over 1 and just treat it like a fraction as normal. Uh, any question that involves a mixed number, then write that as a top-heavy fraction and then just proceed as normal. And remember to simplify your answer at the end. And if you do end up with a top-heavy fraction as your answer, remember to convert it back into a mixed number before you move on to the next question. So I hope that was helpful, and I hope that you're now able to do all fraction questions.